guys, this is The Lazy Programmer, and I'm back again to tell you about my newest course, Cluster Analysis in Unsupervised Machine Learning in Python. This course is going to introduce you to some very popular and very important unsupervised machine learning algorithms. In a real-world environment, you can imagine that a robot or an artificial intelligence won't always have access to the optimal answer, or maybe there isn't an optimal and correct answer. You'd want that robot to be able to explore the world on its own and learn things just by looking for patterns. Do you ever wonder how we get the data that we use in our supervised machine learning algorithms? We always seem to have a nice CSV or a table complete with X's and corresponding Y's. If you haven't been involved in acquiring data yourself, you might not have thought about this, but someone has to make this data. Those Y's have to come from somewhere and a lot of the time that involves manual labor where a person sits there and clicks this is a dog, this is a cat, and so on. Sometimes you don't have access to this kind of information or it is infeasible or costly to acquire, but you still want to have some idea of the structure of your data. This is where unsupervised machine learning comes into play. In this course we are going to first talk about clustering. This is where instead of training on labels we try to create our own labels. We'll do this by grouping together data that looks alike. There are two methods of clustering we'll talk about, k-means clustering and hierarchical clustering. Next, because in machine learning we like to talk about probability distributions, we'll go into Gaussian mixture models and kernel density estimation, where we talk about how to learn the probability distribution of a set of data. One interesting fact is that under certain conditions, Gaussian mixture models and k-means clustering are exactly the same. We'll prove how this is the case. All the algorithms we'll talk about in this course are staples in machine learning and data science, so if you want to know how to automatically find patterns in your data with data mining and pattern extraction without needing someone to put in manual work to label that data, then this course is for you. Mm -hmm.